the stars, and the world is watching you. By your presence, you send a message to every village, every city, every nation. A message of hope, a message of victory. Eunice Kennedy Shriver, a world changer for the disabled. Eunice Kennedy Shriver worked for years and years to allow and help people with disabilities be able to participate in sports. She started the Special Olympics and left her legacy on the world. Now, in the present day, the games still support people with disabilities. Eunice Kennedy Shriver really was a world changer for the disabled. Eunice Kennedy Shriver is a pioneer who literally changed the way persons with intellectual disabilities are treated and viewed. Eunice Kennedy Shriver advocated for the disabled in the 1960s by allowing them to participate in sports. Shriver achieved this by creating the Special Olympics and impacting people with disabilities. Her motivation for helping the disabled came from the desire to help her sister Rosemary Kennedy, who was born with intellectual disabilities. Eunice Kennedy Shriver's lasting legacy in America has enabled millions of disabled to engage in athletics and be included in society. Growing up with eight siblings, Eunice had to get used to fitting in around all of her brothers and sisters. Sports and athletics were a great part of the Kennedy children's childhood. Eunice especially enjoyed swimming, sailing, and touch football. Her older sister, Rosemary Kennedy, was born with intellectual disabilities and experienced many different challenges in playing sports and fitting in in the Kennedy household. Even being a younger sister, Eunice realized all the difficulties that her sister had to go through most of her childhood. This inspired Eunice to help her sister be able to participate in sports and many other activities. Eunice found it difficult to find different clubs and activities that would let people with disabilities to participate in. To solve this issue, she created her own camp called Camp Shriver. After Eunice Kennedy started the camp, she wanted to do something bigger, something that had more of an impact. July 20th, 1968, the 85,000-seat stadium at Soldier Field, Chicago, was nearly empty with under 1,000 people in it. This day was the very first International Special Olympics. Athletes from 26 American states and Canada marched onto the field, chanting, Let me win. But if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. Eunice Kennedy Shriver stood at the stadium podium, surrounded by friends, family, volunteers, and athletes. She stood there and said a few sentences that would be remembered forever. Let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. Today, all of you young athletes are in the arena. Many of you will win, but even more important, I know you will be brave and bring credit to your parents and to your country. Let us begin the Olympics. Thank you. After this world-changing speech, the very first Special Olympics began. The game started off with track and field. Athletes from all different states came to participate. Swimming and diving were other events that were held at these games. All of the athletes that were allowed to participate in these games were people who were lacking in education or two years behind their peers most of them being referred to as mentally retarded during the 1960s. For the first time ever in history, people who had intellectual disabilities were standing tall and proud on a podium and were rewarded for their athletic talents. July 20th, 1968 marks the day in history that the disabled were recognized for athletic abilities. This day reformed history forever. 
Now, nearly four decades after the very first Special Olympics, the games have grown, and now 170 different countries around the world participate in them. The Special Olympics now bring together more than 4.4 million athletes. More sports have been added to the games, creating a total of 32 individual and team sports. These games provide different trainings and competition for people with intellectual disabilities. Not only have the games given opportunities for the disabled, but it also raises awareness about disabilities and people with intellectual disabilities. Before the Special Olympics were created, there were no schools, clubs, or activities that the disabled could participate in. Frank explains how his life is different now. I was 20 when I was in the Special Olympics. I had the spire meningitis. It made me slow. Back in the early 60s, there was no activities and no schooling for people with disabilities. He and so many others with disabilities can be included, can participate in sports, and can be a winner. Nine years after the beginning of the Special Olympics, the very first International Winter Special Olympics were held. They took place in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, February 5th through 11th. This was another big change in America's history because it was the first time that the disabled were not only allowed to run track and swim, but they could also ski and do many different winter sports. Since the first Special Olympics, the games have grown rapidly and 170 different countries are now participating in them. Not only are the disabled in America able to be included in sports, but now people from around the world in countries like China, Brazil, Switzerland, and Africa. Eunice Kennedy Shriver was changing the way people saw the disabled in America and around the world. On March 24, 1984, the United States President Reagan awarded Eunice Kennedy Shriver with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Shriver was awarded this because of her efforts and abilities to make the world a better place for everyone, no matter if you were disabled or not. August 11, 2009, Eunice Kennedy Shriver passed away. Shriver's dedication and hard work ended up changing the lives of many groups of people and individuals. Even though the leader of this legacy has passed away, her footprints are still left on schools, jobs, athletics, and millions of people.